Hello everyone! I'm glad to welcome you back to our channel. In this video, I will tell you about how to choose the best, most convenient mold for making lollipops, and what to look out for when making your purchase. Molds will help you make perfectly even lollipops and will save you a lot of time. Molds differ in quality quite a lot. Let's take a look. We'll start with the simple molds and then move on to molds for rattles. Here we have two types of molds. The yellowish molds were bought in pastry chef boutiques and the white ones were ordered on AliExpress. At first they seem very similar. All are elastic, smooth, even and pleasant to the touch and they all have a special stick holder. As for the differences, it's immediately noticeable that they are made of different types of silicone. The yellow molds are soft and the white ones are much tougher. We made lollipops in advance to test the performance characteristics of the molds and did not notice any significant difference in the results. It was quite easy to get the lollipops out of all the molds and all the lollipops came out smooth with a distinct edge. Nevertheless, there was one small nuance. The edges of the white molds sometimes slightly rose up when we poured in ice malt that was excessively hot. The undoubted advantage of molds is that you don't have to wait for the ice malt to cool down to the work temperature. Just wait until the bubbles disappear. Then you can safely pour it into the molds and the ice malt will not spread out. This saves a lot of time. Molds with numbers are a separate topic. They have fairly dense partitions. This makes extracting the lollipops much more difficult. Numbers often break in bends and places where the ice malt is thin. I personally didn't like using this mold with ice malt, but it is perfect for sugar paste. After cooling down, the numbers are very easy to extract and have beautiful rounded edges and a smooth surface. Now let's move on to the more complex molds, molds for rattles. The molds that we use for our custom cakes were bought in a pastry shop boutique. These are the ones I'll start a review with. This one is my favorite. It's got a comfortable size and three different shapes, a heart, a star, and a circle. The lollipops come out neat and light. You can use them as cake decor. The maize mold though is quite large and the lollipop will come out heavy, so it will be difficult to mount on a cake. The molds have wide grooves which are convenient for pouring ice malt into. But what's most important is that the walls of the inner shape are of a suitable height. I'll even measure them. 4 millimeters. Why is this so important? I'll show you on a sample. To make a lollipop rattle, you have to be able to place the sprinkles inside and close the lid. The shallower the bottom part of the lollipop is, the smaller the beads will have to be to fit. Otherwise, the lid might simply not close. See? With large beads, it no longer closes. By the way, you can learn to make lollipop rattles on our channel. In our videos, we describe everything in detail. You can find the link below the video. It's much more convenient to assemble the lollipop when the stick gets inserted into the lid of the lollipop and not the bottom. This way, you will be able to line up the two parts evenly, so pay attention to this. With the maize mold, the stick can be inserted only into the bottom part of the lollipop, so it's not very convenient to connect the two parts. Let's fill it with sprinkles. The largest beads do not fit into the maze, so let's try the smaller ones.
And now let's move on to the molds ordered off AliExpress. We have two of these, a heart-shaped mold and a maze. When ordering, I do not pay attention to the external and internal dimensions of the molds, and as a result, we don't use them. Buying them turned out to be a waste of money. I'll explain why. Let's start with the hearts. If you look here, you'll see that the wall of the inner shape practically does not protrude. It's less than one millimeter in height. The bottom of the lollipop turned out like this. Large beads will definitely not fit inside. Let's try the smallest ones. The lid does close, but finding such flat sprinkles like the ones I have here is quite difficult. If we try slightly larger sprinkles, the lid will not close, and it will not be possible to connect the two parts. See? The rattle maze creates a good first impression. It is deep enough for sugar beads, but its grooves are too small and narrow for the ice mall to flow into. And the pattern on the finished lollipop comes out fuzzy and blurred. The biggest problem though is that the diameter of the lid is smaller than the diameter of the bottom part. And there's definitely nothing you can do about that. Since it's not possible to connect the two parts, you won't be able to use such a mold. Do not repeat my mistakes, always check all the parameters of the rattle mold with the seller when purchasing. Here I found an online shop whose photos indicate the height of the shape's wall, 4 millimeters, just like on my mold. Since there are no reviews yet, my guess is that the seller is new on the market. By the time you see this video, it may already have some reviews. I'll leave all the links for sites worth buying on and those to be aware of below this video. And feel free to recommend shops where you've bought high quality molds in the comment section. Such information will be very useful to other cake makers. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe to our channel. Soon I will post more useful videos about cake decor. Some of these recipes you can find on our Instagram. Look for the link below the video. See you again. Bye bye.